Welcome to a new video and in this video I will show you Valorant tips and tricks on the map Fracture. Some of these tricks are from viewers so thank everyone who sent in their tricks. Sorry if my voice is a little bit messed up but I'm back from Romania. I had a great time on the Saga festival but of course my voice, yeah, it's uh, it's been gone for two days. But it's back now a little bit so uh, let's start the video. Let's first talk about this wall. Planting the spike behind this wall is a very good spot. You or of course your teammates can wallbang this wall from a lot of angles. But you have to know something about it. You cannot wallbang this wall from from ramp with a normal gun like a phantom or the vandal. The wall is too thick for that so keep that in mind. And yes if you didn't know the angles do matter if you are wall banging something. A very unique mechanic. And about this spot let's immediately learn a viper lineup. After you planted the spike throw your smoke on it and walk on top of these boxes over here. Of course make sure it's clear then walk against the crack in the rocks and aim at the corner of the roof of the building. Very very easy to remember then just shoot your poison and easy kills for you my friend. Now a cool trick you can do with any agent as long as you got an odin. Plant the spike over here then make your way to tunnels and when the enemies are defusing the spike ping the spike and shoot through the lights to the enemies you could also do this trick with the phantom or the vandal but it's more effective with the odin good luck my friends let's learn a cool satchel jump to surprise the enemies normally the enemies are smoking this but you can counter this smoke with the cool double jump all the way to ropes to surprise the enemy this is a dangerous trick but maybe you will scare the enemy and get a sneaky kill and of course practice this before you do it in game otherwise bad things will happen now let's talk about the killjoy ultimate because you can place your killjoy ult down here and it will cover almost the whole b side but if you are the enemy you can see the killjoy ult above the ground and you can just shoot it down so most people will say this is a bad killjoy spot but actually it's a very good spot i tried it out with titan and it's actually very hard to kill the killjoy ult over here and also when you are trying this trick you have to stand right on top of it and you are just standing in the open so the enemies can push you and kill you so in my opinion as killjoy just place your ult over there it's a very good spot and a spot where you should not place your killjoy ult is over here Place your ult over here. Initiated my ultimate if you place it over here, you still have like a big control. Oh, you could also bow, bow bang it. <laughs> okay. Now a cool cypher one way. Stand in this corner and aim at the middle iron thingy. Walk forward till your crosshair is at the first iron thingy, then jump and throw your cage. Your cage will land on top of the building. You might need to practice this a little bit, but when you do it often, it's very easy to get it consistently. After you threw your cage, go to ropes and kill the enemies from there. The enemies won't be able to see anything. Now a cool Yoru combo you can do. First, place your gate crash in tunnels. It will go all the way to the other side of tunnel. Then slowly push B, maybe shoot some shots and when you see your gate crash is ready throw your flashbang against that wall it will flash the enemy standing in heaven teleport and kill the enemies easy peasy with killjoy stand somewhere around here it doesn't have to be perfect aim at the corner of the box and do your right click throw your nano swarm will land on the edge of the box this is very nice it will hit people standing on top of the platform and also down the platform very good very good now a cool glitch that is actually not very useful but I thought it was funny to show. When you stand in this corner you can place your cam against that wall and it will do a very strange glitch. It's not very useful because you can see true walls but it is funny nonetheless. Now two glitches a lot of people were sending to me but I think Tepak stop found these out so credits to him. But you can jump on top of these ledges over here. Just do a double jump with jet and easy peasy for you. However I think this spot is not very useful because you're very inaccurate with your gun so you have to use your ultimate but you can also get peeked from a lot of angles so mwah. However this one, ooh la la my friends. This one is actually pretty nice. From stairs jump on the green boxes, then jump on the container and do an updraft to get over here. From here you are a little more hidden from the enemies because you are in a very unusual spot. Not a lot of people will see you over here because not a lot of people will look over here. And easy kills for you, just like complicated. Now a cool Yoru gate crash you can use from spawn. Stand in this corner and aim at the right iron pipe. Then cause your gate crash. While we are following this gate crash, you have the time to like this video, maybe, if you like it. It will really help this channel, thank you so much. But it ends up in A side. A sneaky one to surprise the enemies. But you have to remember one thing when you use this trick. Before you are TPing, look at the minimap and face towards the side. If you don't do this, you will TP with your back towards the side. This is not good. Now cool cypher one way for this ledge. Stand against this wall, aim up and throw your cage. Just aim somewhere around the top ledge and it will land on the bottom ledge. Very easy. But a warning, when you use this one way, don't stand over here. Because the enemies will also see you. Instead of standing over there, stand for 
for example over here and easy kills for you my friend. Now cool line up for the post plant with raised on A. When you plant the spike in this corner, go to the top of ramp and camp in this corner over here. When you hear the enemies are defusing, just throw your nade against the edge of the pillar. You can do this very consistently, very nice. Now a viper one way you can use as soon as the barriers are going down. Stand against the barrier and aim at the corner of the roof. Throw your smoke and it will land on top of the lamp. Just activate it when the enemies are pushing and easy feed kills for you. Just remember, aim on the head, not the feet. With sage, stand in this corner on A side. Then jump and place your wall. You can do this before the barriers are going down. Then destroy the rest of your wall and stand on this lonely wall segment. From here you can kill the enemies from an unexpected angle. However, you could be spotted from a lot of angles. So only use this trick when you know a teammate is holding one of these angles. Teamwork makes the dream work, my friends. Now cool KO lineup for the default plant on B. After you planted the spike, go to heaven and hook this wall. Make sure it's clear and when you hear the enemies are defusing, simply throw your molly a little bit to the right of the pole. Throw it and it will land of course on the fault plant. And of course, always remember every KO lineup you can also do with Killjoy. Very nice. This next trick also a lot of people were sending to me and I think Everest Jonas found this one out and it's bug abuse. You can get banned for this so don't use it. But I will show it in this video anyway. With Sage on B, go to Heaven, go to Ropes and place your wall over here. From here you can look through the building to middle. It's very OP because the enemies cannot see you, so it's a one way. But like I said, very illegal, don't use it my friends. Now another cypher one way, hook this wall and aim at the top ledge. Throw your cage somewhere around that ledge and it will land on top of the other ledge. After that jump down and from here it's a very nice one way. And this is the enemy's perspective. There's one problem, the enemies most likely are not gonna push when you use this smoke, but still you can use this to save time or when you time it very nice you can use it as a one way very good or of course you can use it if your enemies are stupid now another tip a very quick one when you hear the enemies are planting just wall bang these two boxes very easy kills spike planted now let's talk about this box over here because this box is your biggest friend if you love pop flashes. With Yoru just use your flash, peek and easy kills for you. And you can also do this with KO, very nice, very nice. A big tip, wait till you hear the orb is being taken to maximize your chance to get a kill. Now a nice phoenix wall for if you want to rush A. It's very easy but it's very overpowered so I wanted to show you in this video. Before you enter the site, place your wall like this, then check the corners of the site and you have the site for you and your team. I mean most of the times there's only one enemy on site so easy kills for you five versus one now another cypher trick when the barriers are going down place your camera in between the bushes it's very hard for the enemies to spot this camera especially when they are playing on high settings because then the bushes are more very strange actually high settings will get a disadvantage sometimes now a post plant brimmy molly for up there when you plant the bomb up there find this crack and aim in between the two rocks very easy to remember Shoot your molly and it will land on the default plant, very nice. But wait, what if your teammate plants underneath? Well, we have another lineup for that. Find this spot just behind Star Wars, then match the diamond of your ability bar with the corner of the building. Shoot your molly and it will land on the spike if it's planted underneath, very nice. And this is the end of the video, I want to thank everyone so much for sending in their tricks. Stay hydrated, otherwise your voice will be just like me. Peace.